declares away at General Synod, wrestling with the Church of England, wrestling with its problems with same-sex relationships. So here I am for some me time on Holy Island, which I guess makes this a proper postcard. I stayed overnight on the mainland so that I could cross when the tide started to fall early in the morning. The island is cut off for about half each day by the two high tides. You sense that when you're here, on the shoreline and in the lives of the birds and the seals, like long slow breaths, in then out, in then out. And there are rhythms within rhythms, the curlews call, and the waves breaking endlessly on the sand they made over millions of years, advancing and receding. Today's Psalm 105 calls God's people to remember the wonders he has done, his miracles and the judgments he pronounced. It's one of those psalms difficult to read today because it sings of God's love for his people in triumph over other people's cycles of triumph and disaster which have turned for millennia. We're too quick, I think, to discern God's wonders, miracles and judgments at work on our side in whatever conflict we're wrestling with. God's wonders are deeper than that and pulse to a slower beat. May we find time and space to hear and see and feel.